okay, welcome. So what they have is they want us to multiply two trigonometric uh, um, binomials and then simplify using the trigonometric uh, identities. So when looking at a problem like this, um, you know, I see that I have a binomial times a binomial, which I know it's in trig, but let's just go and kind of replace that and see how I'd solve it otherwise. Let's kind of pretend that cotangent would be A and cosecant could be B, and then multiply by A minus B. Well, hopefully, if you kind of have a little factor in practice, we notice, right, looking at this, this is part of our definition of difference of two squares. When multiplying a binomial with times a binomial, where the operations are opposite, and I have the exact same terms, we know that this is going to be a squared minus b squared. So in reality, I could multiply this by using the FOIL technique or the box or you know, a lot of different multiplying techniques. But really, if I just kind of notice, this is really just a separation of difference of two squares. So what I can do then is following that cotangent is a, cosecant is b, cotangent would be a, and cosecant is b. What I can do now is I can just rewrite that as cotangent squared of x minus cosecant squared of x. So therefore, now by looking at these, I want to see, all right, well, you know, can we rewrite these? Are they going to have um, the same denominator? Well, remember, cotangent is going to be cosine squared of x divided by sine squared of x. And cosecant is going to be 1 over sine squared of x. So therefore, since they have the same denominator, I can actually rewrite these to be cosine squared of x minus 1 all over sine squared of x. Then I look at cosine squared, and I automatically think, oh, is that going to be part of my trigonometric, or is that, can I use a Pythagorean identity to solve that? So we look at our Pythagorean identities, which says sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Now, if we were going to take a look at this, if I was going to solve for cosine squared minus 1, what I could do is if I, let's say I subtracted the sine squared of x on both sides, I would have cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x, then subtract the 1 on both sides, and I get cosine squared of x minus 1 equals negative sine squared of x. So therefore, the cosine squared of x minus 1, that is equal to negative sine squared of x. So therefore, I have negative sine squared of x divided by a positive sine squared of x. Well, since these are exact same terms, that one's negative, one's positive, we know that they're going to divide out to a 1. But since the numerator is negative, they're going to divide out to a negative 1. So that would be your final simplified answer. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.